Hey everyone, Alex here with Sherpa. Today I want to show you our low pro offset fly rod mounts. These are a great option if you have a fly rod mount or a fly rod holder similar to this one and you're running something like a rooftop tent or you just don't want to take up real estate on the top of your rack. These are going to set that uh, holder off to the side of the vehicle and down low. So they're nice and low out of the way and easy to get access to your fly rods. So let's dive into it. As far as tools go, you're going to need a 7 16 and a 10 mil. Uh, it's also nice to sometimes have a ratcheting wrench like this one in case you're working in a tighter space that a socket's not going to fit in. So with this, you're going to get the two brackets and then you're also going to get the hardware to go with it. The hardware is going to be four quarter 20 bolts, four washers, and then four of our drop-in T-nuts. This hardware is for mounting these to the rack system. Um, as far as mounting the fly rod holder to the brackets, that hardware should be included with your fly rod holder and you're going to be mounting into these slots on here depending on how far offset you want it from the roof rack. So let's throw these up on the truck. So each bracket is going to use two bolts, two washers, and two of our T-nuts, and then we're going to mount these up to the truck first, and then we'll get the fly rod holder mounted to these. So the first thing we're going to do to install these is take our drop-in T-nuts and find what crossbars we're going to be mounting these on. Um, these are mirrored, so this orientation is going to be the one that's facing the front. And then your other one that's flipped, just so it looks nice and aesthetic from the back, is gonna be flipped in the other orientation. We'll show you once we get to the back. But we're gonna mount it on this front crossbar here, and then one towards the back. So we're gonna take these T-nuts and drop them into our slots here. So you can see those T-nuts just drop into this crossbar right here. Um, you're gonna do flat side facing out with that spring ball detent going in. And you rock those T-nuts in, and then we're just gonna line them up with where this bracket goes. We're uh, working with pretty tight clearances here with this rooftop tent. So uh, if your rooftop tent is sitting too close to the rack, we do sell tent risers to allow you to give you a little bit more space to fit accessories like this. But with this one, thankfully, we're able to weasel this bracket in here and then it's gonna fit just perfectly right underneath there. So as you can see, there is a little bit of adjustment with this once you have it in here. Um, we're gonna butt that edge trim right up against your side plate and then make sure that this edge on top is nice and flush and then we're just going to tighten these down nice and snug. So we're going to repeat the same process we did on the back, back here, but I'm going to make sure that we show you guys how these drop-in T-nuts work. Uh, you can see that these are half-mooned. Uh, that flat side is going to be facing out of the slot. So we'll put it in sideways and then rock it in, and then we're going to line it up. As far as what fly rod holder we're using for this install, we're using the Riversmith River Quiver, and this is their two banger version. They make a four banger version, but all this has on it is one track down the middle that has uh, two bolts coming out, and that's what's gonna be bolting into our mounts here. So now that the brackets are up on the truck, all that's left to do is to throw these onto the brackets. So uh, I did make sure to pull the nut and washer off of these, so these are just the studs so that we can get these lined up and then we'll be able to just drop it right in, and then we'll just check fitment with the rear hatch and make sure that everything's dialed up. So the nice thing at this step, you can pretty much just set the fly rod holder up there. And what I like to recommend, especially with vehicles where the hatch opens vertically, this is where you're gonna wanna open your hatch and just double check clearances. As you can see, we're gonna wanna push this guy probably as far forward as we can get it. If you really want to be dialed in with your setup, you can also make sure that with your hatch open, you can still open your door enough to get your fly rods out. So pretty much right about here is going to be perfect for us. So now we can get our uh, studs that are coming out of it lined up in the slots we want and then throw this hardware on and we are good to go. So as you can see, these slide back and forth in this one and we are just going to line it up with the hole we want and then drop it right in and then we'll be able to put our hardware on. All right, so on your other side, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you're going in that same slot and at the same position on that slot, just so that this is nice and in line with your rack. But again, drop it through, and then you'll put your hardware on, and then we'll come back and just snug these down with our wrench. So as you can see, there's a ton of options as far as mounting these, and they're incredibly easy to throw up on your truck. The nice thing is, whether you're running a low profile uh, tent like this, where it sits really far inside the rack, um, or you're running a bigger one that's gonna overhang more. You have a lot of adjustability to push this thing out as far as you need to to clear those. Um, and it also gives you a lot of options for clearing your hatches or 
uh, tailgates, whatever it may be. So if you have any questions about these, shoot us an email, comment below. But now we can throw some fly rods in here and go fishing. <laughs>